Good afternoon and welcome to this week's weekly, but it's Monday. <laughs> you haven't had the weekend in this weekly because if you saw Wednesday's upload, you will have seen that you requested Holly's birthday weekend in a separate vlog. So that is what I did. I did a separate vlog for you of the whole weekend away. What a weekend we had. If you can hear a whirring noise, it's my laptop. Let me move it away. It's because it's... Oh, oh. I've just um, finished editing the weekend away and it's uh, rendering, the playback's rendering. So, what a weekend it was. Oh my goodness. If you've seen that, if you haven't seen that vlog, go and watch it. I'll, I'll um, tag it for you. But look at the state of me now. <laughs> paying the price. I'm paying the price. We all knew I would. It was a lovely weekend. I had the best time. And I know Holly did. And everybody else did. But it took everything out of me. I was in so much pain yesterday. And I've been in so much pain again today. I still am. Arms, legs, everything. Um, but it was worth it because it was just so good. The house was lovely as I did you a guided tour. Um, the only thing I would say is there needs to be a lot of work done on that house. So there was lots of lights that didn't work. There were broken things. It was very dirty in places. It was, it just needed a lot of like things like the shower and bath in mum and Angie's bathroom didn't work. And when we told them about it, they said, oh yeah, it's to do with a pump or something. I thought, well, you should have fixed it. The sauna wasn't working, so we could only use the hot tub. We also had to cut, get the man round um, to fix our shower because when we had a shower, it was overflowing on the floor. So he had to come and sort that out. It still wasn't brilliant when he'd finished, but it was... The, oh. But at least it um, it sorted a little bit, you know. We could use the shower at least. So there was lots of things that were wrong with the house. But there, it was fine for what we needed it for. So that was good. And... It was just such a lovely time, like with the meals, the meal out and the painting and we're picking that up this weekend, I believe. I'm actually not doing a lot this week because I knew I would be suffering from the weekend. So this might be more of a chatty video if that's not your thing. I'm sorry, but I can't be doing things every week. I will be doing some bits and pieces, but um, I'll show you more of general life day to day what I'm doing I'm so tired <laughs> I've already had a little kip about 12 I had a little sleep on the sofa I'm so tired so tired but I think Evie enjoyed it she's there look she's shattered so yeah this this weekly might not be as long because obviously I'm starting it on Monday instead of Saturday but I hope you enjoyed that um, weekend vlog. It was fun to to uh, edit it. I knew it would be. Those sort of vlogs always are. Well, all my vlogs I like editing, so. Right, I am on my last episode of The Discovery of Witches, which makes me very sad because it's been the best, best series. I been I've been binge watched all of it if you haven't seen it it's not on Netflix or anything it's on is it on normal TV or Sky one of them but if you haven't seen Discovery of Witches I think you should it's when I first started watching it I thought this isn't for me but when you oh, sorry if the camera keeps on focusing I don't know if it's my glasses that are that's throwing it um when you actually get into it, then it's really, really good. you just got to concentrate sometimes in places. Because I thought, oh, who's that character? Who's that they've mentioned? 
If you've got any good Netflix or TV series that you think I could binge watch and, and check out, let me know in the comments below. I love supernatural, witchy, oldie worldy, um, period drama, anything like that. That's the sort of thing I like. I don't like crime, I don't like thrillers so much, don't like horror. Um, but yeah, anything else, I, if, you, if you know of anything, let me know. Right, I'm going to go and quickly sort Poppy's room out because she's out at the moment. And then come back. Oh my God! Collapse! <laughs> and watch the last episode of Witches! Right, I just wanted to show you what um, we've got for dinner tonight because I like to get different ideas for dinners and things and... I thought um, I would show you so this is what I've made so it's um, a pastry sheet very easy you put the I get like a pizza sauce but you could have any sauce you wanted as the base and then I put um, herbs on top of that then I put um, cooked chicken sliced chicken that's already cooked pre-cooked with chopped red onion chopped red pepper and then I topped that with some grated cheese and that went in the oven for half an hour on 200 and then these are new potatoes that I part boil and then I squash each one with the, a masher and then I sprayed them with fry light added garlic salt and more herbs and they cooked for just under an hour and then with that we've got some green beans so it looks really yummy doesn't it oh i can't wait to eat it good morning good afternoon good evening and good night <laughs> it is literally dead on 12 so i wasn't wrong <laughs> well i was but you know right it is tuesday isn't it it's tuesday i just dropped poppy off she's gone to the bank and then she's going to the gym so I am in Holly's room. I've covered over her bed because, let me show you, her wall. Can you see, this was where her lights used to be and it's left all these marks on her wall where her lights were. So I'm just gonna go over that, paint over that today and then I can put her new lights up. Um, but look at her little arrangement on the windowsill, bless her. She's got her 20 balloons and her flowers it's so cute so yeah that's that's my job today is to paint that i think evie wants to go out let me just see well go out eve where are you yeah i won't go out lovely and sunny isn't it dudes there you go let me leave the door open for you and then you can come in and out can't you yeah beautiful sunny day look at that look at that let me let me bask in it let me find the light let me find the light <laughs> hmm lovely i don't know about you but after christmas and everything that's gone on i'm ready for spring now i'm ready for the warmer weather i'm ready to get in the garden i'm ready for all of it i had terrible dreams last night <sighs> my dreams are always about working as well always always got working in there somewhere because obviously that's on my mind all the time that i i would love to be able to do a job but anyway that's a story for another story <laughs> for another vlog i'm gonna go and get on with this painting and i'm gonna listen to the new podcast episode from rob and josh on parenting hell if you haven't listened to their podcast, I implore you to because it is mwah, very good. Right, I've done one coat. Oh, it's really, oh, it's not focusing. Oh, it's not focusing. Let me get it focused on something else. There we go. I have done one coat and I don't think it will need any more. So, um, yeah, that's got rid of all the marks off the wall anyway. So I'll let that dry and then I can hang her new lights, which are here. Hang on, let me show you. These are her new lights. So they're drop down ones rather than crisscross ones, these ones. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully that will look good. And I managed to get just after one coat, my hand in a mess, my nails in a mess. <laughs> but top tip, right, if you're gonna do painting, usually you use a tray, but we didn't have a tray, so we had to use a bucket. So that you don't have to wash everything up, put a carrier bag in, or a black sack or something, scoop it out, throw it away. And then you've got nothing to wash up apart from the brush and the roller. But I'm leaving that there for the time being, just in case this dries and I think, oh no, I need to do some touching up somewhere. Um, so I've just left it there for now. But yes, I have just painted with the sore shoulder and neck that I had from last night. <laughs> and it still hurts today. But that's the kind of crazy chick I am. <laughs> so anyway, now, he's <laughs> looking is mummy mad talking to the vlog? Oh, oh, that's Mark. No, she's just peering at me down the corridor. <laughs> is mummy crazy? Is she? She just wants me to sit down. That's what she wants me to do. She's like, will you come and sit down? Right, okay, the wall is dry and I didn't need another coat. So one coat was enough, which is good because my shoulder is killing me. Um, I've hung her picture back up and these are the new lights. Aren't they pretty? I'm really, really pleased with them. I know it's having a hard job to focus. Let's try and focus on there. There you go. But I just think they look really, really nice. So they've got a little remote control with them as well. If I can, I'll tag them in the description for you just in case. But this is um, the Make Corst LED Fairy Lights. I think it's either Amazon or eBay I would have got them from. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really, really pretty. So I'm pleased with that. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's towel wash Wednesday. You've got airband on the floor here, house. Um, just getting ready to take Poppy to Lucy's. My hair looks shocking, but never mind. Um, back still hurts, shoulder still hurts. All good. And then Holly and I are going into town. I'm going to have to sort my hair out. It looks um, We're going into town because I've got to take something back to New Look that I bought that doesn't fit. And we're going to have lunch there. I need to go to Pound Shop. And then come home and get the vlog up for you because I forgot to get it up, the Wednesday upload, um, yesterday. My bad. So I will do that today. Um, yeah, I don't know what else. Towel wash Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, it's very dark. <laughs> We're in a um, nice little cafe called Timbers. I'm going to have our lunch. It's very dark. <laughs> Polly's, Polly's lit. <laughs> Polly's lit. <laughs> right, when I'm lunch has arrived. No, I'm not eating that. <laughs> You'll need chewing gum. <laughs> this is my goat's cheese and caramelised onion. Oh my god, that is a hell of a. I oh know. <laughs> what have you got? Chicken, barbecue sauce, peppers, and onions. <laughs> Get it in there, girl. And these nice little potatoy things as well. Do you want my tomatoes? No thanks. Right. <laughs> Let's get eating. <laughs> so, that noise you can hear is a tumble dryer. Back from town, let's open that a bit more. And we have some shopping. That's Holly's. What did Holly get? Some water. <laughs> Holly got some earrings from Primark. Can you see those? Little hoops. She's got a one pair in, that's why there's one pair missing. Um, she got some heat protect spray. Let me know if you've used this. And some cycling shorts for the gym for the summer. That was her her purchases. Sure, mind me showing you them. Right. I took my new look skirt back that um, didn't fit me. They said it was an 18. It had that much to go to do up. That was not an 18. That was more like a 14. Right, I did get a 
ice ice baby ice scraper because I haven't got one. I keep thinking it's my hair, but it's not. It's the little thing on the camera. Um, I also got a scarf for my stepmum for her birthday. Her name is Pam, Pamela, so that's why I've got a P. Um, and that was in the sale for one pound only. And I also got her some fluffy socks because I know she likes the socks from Primark and they were two pounds. Um, I bought a hair colour. I'm going vibrant. Look at that. Look at that. I have used this one before. And obviously it doesn't come out that colour because my hair is so dark. You can just see bits of it. So, But I thought, why not? Oh, Holly bought herself some, well I bought Holly, some lentil chips, sour cream and onion. These are really nice, these lentil chips. They're really, really nice. So, oh, if you're up for trying some new crisps, get them. Right, I bought two tops from Primark. Now I am going to do, I'm gonna film a video soon of shop my wardrobe and like make more of the outfits that I've got. So, but I, sorry, I was just trying to sort the handle out. I do want some more tops to go with leggings and jeggings. Leggings and jeggings. So I bought this one which is just a white it's a chiffon it's got these little sleeves um and this hang on this does tie up there like that so that's nice because it's not too tight around the neck i did get it in a 20 because i like baggy tops so i always buy them oversized and this was nine pounds but i just think either with jeggings or leggings and long boots that would be really nice or even a skirt i don't actually own that many skirts i own i want more skirts i own two a denim one and a black check one so i've got that one and i also got this really nice oversized shirt a bit like well it's not like this jacket because this is more of a coat i use this as this jacket but this one's more of just a, a shirt and it's longer at the back can you see that so this bit's longer and it's shorter at the front. So I will wear this with a, like a vest top. Under. I put a vest top in the winter under most, most of my things. And this again was nine pounds and I got it in a 20. Or as my mum says, a tenty. And to find out why she says that, you need to have watched Miranda. Right, so that's what I got. They were the two clothing items, but like I say, I am gonna film uh, shop my wardrobe soon um, just got some earbuds oh I did get two pairs of glasses got two pairs of sunglasses you can't beat Primark sunglasses but I am gonna ask for a nice pair of sunglasses for my birthday I think so these ones were three pounds I can't get the labels off at the moment so you'll have to bear with the labels oh, I actually really like them what do you think <laughs> and when I was going to town my black glasses broke that were from Primark so I got these ones to replace them what do you reckon hmm don't you think sunglasses just look funny they make it look like a fly so they were a pound them ones panned panned um I also got stopped in the street by a man selling bracelets for mental health and these were two for a fiver or 250 each so I bought Holly one and I bought Poppy one because Poppy loves these bracelets it's rainbows which she loves and um, yeah we're supporting a good mental health charity so I bought that that was it I think that's all I got we didn't get loads um, I just the main thing was to take the new look skirt back my hair is still driving me nuts I took it out of that style this morning but I have had it up but I've just put the hairband on my wrist um, so now I'm gonna try and get that vlog up for you guys and I might sort my pots out at the front garden because they're looking a bit 
rubbish, really. And then watch some more Primeval that I started watching yesterday. So yeah, that's my little haul. Good morning still, five past ten. Just had egg on toast. Yum. <laughs> um, not too bad today, a bit tired. Sun's shining again. And what is happening with the weather at the moment is the sun comes out really sort of earlier on during the day, then it turns miserable. And that's the content you signed up for with this channel. Weather update. <laughs> Needs a whole new jingle. No, it doesn't. Oh, my back just cracked. I wonder if that will help. No, it hasn't. Uh. <laughs> um, just setting up to record a fibro section. This is my setup. My, my um, what do you call it, ring light and notebook, trusted notebook. So I'm going to do that sitting here. And also I want to show you Evie, because she's really cute. Look what she's done in Poppy's bed. <laughs> she's scrapped all the cushions down and made herself a little nest. She does look comfortable. She can hear what I'm saying, look, her ears are pricked up. She's just choosing to ignore me. Can't say I blame her. Right, so I'm going to get on with the fibro section. I haven't got loads to do today. I might decorate some pebbles. I might do. Right. Oh, that's Mark. Um, and then I've got to take Poppy later. She's got her driving theory test. So I've got to keep an eye on the time and take her. I think I've got to leave here just before two o'clock. Um, and then we've got Tesco shopping coming tonight. Choir does start again tonight, but I'm in two minds whether to go back or not. I really want to go because Angie's going, but I can't say I'm enjoying it as much as I used to. And also, the thought of all those people singing that could have COVID scares me. Um, because we, we don't wear masks or anything, because you can't really sing with a mask on, can you? But anyway, I'll, that one will have to be considered. Right, let's record this fibre section. Right, I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate because I'm really cold. And I'm going to use one of these hot chocolate bombs. We've got quite a few. We've got this little guy. What does that say? Belgian milk chocolate bomb. I don't know if that's got marshmallows in it. Might have, I don't know. We've got this white chocolate one. Hot chocolate surprise. Oh, birthday cake flavour bomb. I don't know which one I fancy. I don't know if I fancy that one today. I hate having pins and needles in my foot. Right, shall I do hot water or hot milk? Oh, I'll just do hot water, I can't bother. Let's get my hot chocolate mug, which is of course do 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 bed knobs and broomsticks. Now, I know that's nothing to do with Harry Potter, but it's a joke when we went to America. Long story short, don't worry. So, Harry Potter is my hot chocolate mug. Mug of the day! Right, shall I fill it up first? And then put it in. I think that's what I'll do. Right, while that's doing, let's have a chat. I'm going to put you down in the cupboard. Put you in the cupboard. There you go. Oh, it's a bit noisy now, isn't it? Maybe not. Let's go out here and I'll have a chat with you out here. <laughs> Evie's still on that bed, you know. Still there. Um, so, if you haven't watched it already, I put up yesterday the weekend vlog when we went away for Holly's birthday. So I'll attach it in the card for you. And someone commented and said, where's Carter? So, just before Christmas, Holly and Carter separated. Um, it was very sad, obviously, for both of them, because it was sort of a mutual decision. It was the right decision. My battery's flashing, I better change it. But it, it was very, very upsetting all round. So, that is why Carter wasn't at the weekend celebrations. That's why he won't be popping up in the videos anytime soon. 
Um, I think they're, they're going to remain friends and everything like that. It's just that they knew their relationship wasn't good for how each other were. So it's lots, lots of, you know, I'm not going to go into details because that's their private life. But I just wanted you all to know, um, and Holly's given per me permission to say that. So she's okay. So don't panic. She's... As you saw on the birthday weekend, she's in a good place. She's doing well. Um, she's had a lot of support. And, yeah, she's she's doing okay. So don't don't panic. Right, okay. I've just seen... I was just looking at the bottom of my cup and I can see a load of scale. So I might have to try and descale my kettle. But I'm not sure how to descale these ones. Um, because with normal kettles you have to boil it and then let it sit for half an hour but if you boil this it's just going to pour out of there I'm going to have to research that right let's pop her in are we ready for this oh it's got like a little hat on right this might be very underwhelming okay is it going to do anything should I put the spoon in Oh, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. <laughs> it's going to take a while, I think. <laughs> I'm pushing it in. Oh, oh, we've got some marshmallows. We've got some marshmallows. Look, look. Oh, look at that. I don't know if this is going to be very nice, you know. I'll just eat the chocolate. <laughs> it just looks like soup. <laughs> now that does not look appetising. Let's just keep stirring it and hope for the best. Maybe I should have used milk. Should have used milk, I think. What is it? Is it still... Oh, it reminds me of a toilet. No, I'm not going to drink it because it reminds me of a toilet. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a toilet. It doesn't look very chocolatey, does it? Maybe I should add some hot chocolate to it. All the marshmallows have gone now as well. Oh well, that was a fail, wasn't it? Maybe I'll make myself a proper hot chocolate now. <laughs> it just looks like dirty dishwater, doesn't it? It doesn't look appealing at all. Good evening. Might be a bit dark. It's still Thursday. <laughs> Weird Thursday. And I have put some fairy lights on my tree in the lounge. The plant tree that I've got. Um... I had fairy lights on there but they were pathetic and then they broke so I used some from Christmas and I love it I just wanted to show you while it was dark what they look like because they're so pretty I was really missing the Christmas tree lights because we had so many lights up and it was so pretty and then all of a sudden they all go don't they so let me show you ready Eve Ta -da! look at that look how pretty it looks let me turn this light off for a minute. Oh. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? What do you reckon, Eve? Do you think it looks good? So I don't care. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. I think it looks lovely. It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? <laughs> Having... A bad fibro day today might not seem like it but you know me by now <laughs> if you don't know me by now okay I'll shut up now <sighs> I've just gone out and had lunch with my good friend Wendy who you've seen in the vlogs many a time I left the camera at home yes I did <laughs> But we had a nice lunch. I had a cheese, rocket and chilli jam sandwich, which was yummy. And with that comes like crisps and coleslaw and salad and stuff. 
and we had a pot of tea a good catch up because we haven't seen each other since before Christmas and then we looked round had a little wander but we've seen it all before anyway and now I'm going to collapse and finish editing this to get up ready for you to watch tomorrow which will be Saturday <sighs> no I'm just I don't know you know, you know every day is different with fibro anyway isn't it let me put a light on because it's a bit dark in here and I want to sit down for a minute but if I do sit down I might not get back up there's always that that risk isn't there yeah like every day is different with fibro and today is not a good day look at the bags I tried to hide them with makeup but you know at least I've still been out took Bobby to college this morning I was supposed to take it to the train station but a train got delayed so I said oh, I'll just take it to college <laughs> stop puffing woman it's just frustrating anyone else find that also I feel at the moment you know one of the fibro sections I've done where you go backwards and forwards through um, denial guilt um, and then it goes on to acceptance and like living your life with fibro so the different stages and you can go backwards and forwards through them at the moment I've gone back to denial I've gone into there's nothing wrong with me I'm gonna do what I want to do <laughs> there was a job going somewhere um, in the, uh, one of our garden centers in the shop and if you don't know I'm an interior designer so I would love to put make arrangements you know of products and it just would really interest me doing that job and like going on the till and but part of me was like yeah I can do that yeah I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna tell Pip where to shove their Pip <laughs> but the reality is no Nicola you can't do that because even on the job advert it says it's a physically demanding job and it's walking like around the whole shop floor which is massive it's doing lifting heavy things is no it's just not going to happen but in my mind I've got a confliction going on between yeah you can do that and no you really can't do that and then comes the guilt of why can't I do that because I'm ill and I don't want to be ill I don't want fibromyalgia so that's what's going on inside my little head at the moment <laughs> let's just hope my fibro state improves tomorrow and it's absolutely freezing today as well it's freezing but I would like to say before I go as well a big thank you to all of you for watching my videos because this week has been quite a home week. I know I have been out and about a couple of times, but while I'm at home and I'm talking to you, I don't feel alone, even though I've got Evie, I know. Um, she can't hear me half the time. But I just feel like I'm not alone when I have you to talk to. And I would like to say thank you for that. You give me someone to talk to and I feel like you're at the other end of this camera. You're in the camera listening to me saying, yes, Nicola. <laughs> no, Nicola. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there this week. My shoulder's hurt and keeping the camera up. <laughs> any, any recommendations on how to get rid of shoulder pain? Fibro shoulder pain, apart from heat. I've tried heat, didn't work. Tried medication, didn't work. I've read somewhere about acupuncture, but can't really afford it so anyway let me know if you've got any tips don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to leave me a nice comment subscribe if you've not done already and that's my phone that's mark i will see you all next wednesday i think it's a fibro section yeah i filmed it it's a fibro section isn't it fibro section next wednesday so stay tuned for that love you lots Mwah. bye